Hi guys, it's Matt here again at MVapes. Um, this is a video review for the new uh, Corolla atomizer by a company called SXK. Um, it is basically a, uh, some people call it a dripper tank. Um, it's, it's not really a Genesis, it's uh, what I would call a top coiled cotton tank atomizer. Um, it's available in four colours, so we'll, we'll have a look at the colours first because they're They've got these sort of resin, um, uh, sort of uh, acrylic uh, trim piece and matching drip tip, and they're they're quite spectacular in the colours. So we'll we'll look at those first, and then we'll go into the the actual atomizer and see what that's all about. So let's just get some uh, let's get some focus on this for you. Okay, this one is what they call the purple and green. And uh, a sort of a, a two tone, and all of these colours they've got sort of metallic y, slightly translucent with sort of marbly swirls in, so they're really quite pretty. This is the red, the red one, which has sort of got white sort of swirls in. And this one is what they call the green, but the green sort of has bluey swirls in as well. They're all different, each and every one is completely unique, so you'll never get two the same, which is quite nice. And finally the purple one. Go. Right, let's uh, have a little look. See what they're what they're about. Underneath there, we've got a brass five ten centre pin. Uh, some people aren't a fan of brass, but uh, unless you manhandle things, you're not going to have a problem. Not with a centre pin. I'd understand if you know external threading was brass. You've got to be a bit careful with it, but. I've never had any problems with brass centre pins. Um, and you've got the Corolla logo and the SXK logo there. And the machining on this is, is just stunning. It's really nice quality. And I think it is 316 stainless steel as opposed to 304 stainless steel. And we have two airflows on this side and one on this side. So when it's lined up like so, you've got an airflow on each side. If you want less airflow, obviously you can adjust it accordingly, or you can go to just that one, which will close off that side there. Um, I, it's not the airiest of atomizers, but it's it's certainly not a tight atomizer. Uh, you can do direct lung inhales on this when you have it set like so. Let's just have a little. Yeah, that's you know it's fine for direct lung. It's not. I say it's not the airiest, but it's you know it's certainly good enough for direct lung inhales as well as obviously your mouth to lung inhales. And the drip tip, double O rings, probably about six mil bore. At its narrowest. And we have this trim ring. Which just comes off. And it's held in place with a with an O-ring. And then we have this top cap that comes off. A sort of conical shape there. And then we have the deck. This is a two post design. And what we have is those airflow holes at the side, they go straight into these two airflows here. So you build your coil across like so, and the air comes in directly underneath the coil. And these two large holes, they're what you put your wick down into the tank. This countersunk hole here is 
where you'd fill up from and a little hole next to it just to let the air out obviously when you're filling up because if you're putting liquid in you need air to come out these are uh, Allen, Allen heads and they've got a nice lip on them so they trap wire nicely And we're going to get, we're going to put a build on this, and it's you know it's nice and easy to do that. Um, the hole sizes are about three mil, so you can put you know a three mil coil in there, wrap it around a three mil bit. I generally use a two mil bit um, because the cotton flares out. Uh, I've had no problems with leaking at all on one of these. Uh, let's go ahead and take the rest of it apart so we can see what it's what it's you know how it's put together. Just undo the 510 screw first of all. And see there's a little o ring on there, which is just sort of a safety precaution. And then we need to take off the negative post screw. And then we can just pull off the top section there. So you see that negative post there goes through the top section via this insulator that insulates it and the positive connection obviously goes through the, the brass screw all the way up the top and screws in here. Now that does mean that this whole top section is your positive but we'll come back to that in a, in a bit. And you can take out the polycarbonate tank section there's a little o-ring in the bottom there and that's the base so it's nice that it comes apart like that so you can you know get in there and clean it out when you're changing juice flavors etc i haven't heard anything from sxk as to whether they're doing you know replaceable spares for these yet but uh, if they do i'll certainly get some Okay, so that top section here, this whole top section, is your positive. Now, there were some concerns by some people that, obviously with that whole section being live, this cap, when you put this on, can also be live because... <clears throat> that o-ring obviously isn't technically enough to separate the two metal materials so at first thought you think oh crap this is live and this is earth so what happens if you know you touch it together well not a lot um, because let me just show you um, actually yeah i'll show you now You put your atomizer on on a, a device like so and now let's say that that device is in your pocket with your keys and a key touches this nothing's going to happen and the reason nothing's going to happen is because the live isn't live until you press the fire button so the chances of you pressing the fire button and your keys touching it is quite slim and if you're carrying keys in the same pocket as your mod anyway, then you are just asking for trouble. Um, you know, you wouldn't carry metal objects with batteries in your pocket and things like that. It's just a bit of common sense. But like I say, it's not, you know, it's not live until you press the fire button. Um, if you're running a variable voltage device, variable voltage device, then you've got the backup of obviously the short circuit protection. But, you know, it's that's not you know ever going to happen unless you're really silly and carrying keys around with metal mods and batteries so you know it's it's the design the design is like that that this whole section is technically the positive um i'd like say it's not going to be a problem even on a mechanical mod if you've got a fully mechanical tube mod like this and you've got it connected on and that's in your pocket and you touch that across there with your keys nothing's going to happen unless 
you're the most unluckiest person in the world that is also firing the device and your keys are short it out but again all mechanical devices you know do usually have a locking function so uh, it's something to be aware of but you've either got to be the most unluckiest person in the world that you know has got a, a non-locking fully mechanical device and keys and they've happened to all collide at the same time or you know you're not really adhering to general battery safety and, and carrying a mod away from other metal objects so anyway that's covered that I won't bang on about that too much it's not you know it just it's not a problem it just you know you just need to have some common sense and uh, and there everything will be okay right let's go ahead and put a coil on uh, what we're going to do is just a sort of 0.9 to 1 ohm coil let's get some focus there we go right I'll bring it up so you can see the detail of what I'm doing I've cheated and pre-made a coil so we're just slacking off these uh, post screws and then we'll lay that across there do is I'll just pull the wire around a little bit do the same the other side and then tighten those down make sure they're nice and tight position and straighten up that coil and just pull it up a little bit off the deck like so there we go and we just need to uh, chop off the legs one coil so now we'll just give it a test fire and then we can pinch it and get rid of any you know, little hot spots so just pulse it a few times slightly longer pulses each time a little pinch Pulse it and then pinch it. And we should get a nice even glow and the resistance will settle down. There we go. Point nine of an ohm. good because that's what I was aiming for okay 
Now we need to get some cotton in there. So we just twist up the end. And pull it through. Not too tight, not too loose, just sort of so it can ease through. Now what we want to do with this is cut the cotton so that it is kind of reaches the bottom of the tank. It, it's not important, but it just saves you. Know, it gets juice. You know, if your juice is running low, you still got cotton there to wick it up. So I cut it probably just a mill above the base of the, the atomizer there. Side a bit, a bit easier. There we go. So you can see I've cut that just shy of the base there. A little trick just for speeding things up with, with filling it up before you poke your things down because it takes a while to fill it up through the hole. Just cheat and uh, get you know a bit of juice in there before you poke the things down. Don't go too crazy because it'll all start to come out when you put your wick in. But you can get you know sort of half the tank in there. So I've filled it up with juice so it's just level with the the bottom of this stainless section. And now we want to basically poke our cotton down here. Now you can you can prime it a little bit beforehand if you want. It's you know it doesn't really matter too much. Just depends how impatient you are. We'll give it a little bit of a prime. I'll prime it some more once I've tucked it down. So I start at the end and just poke it through the hole. And do the same the other side. Start at the end, poke it through the hole, and then I just pop the screwdriver underneath the cotton and just pull it back through a little bit just so that it's not uh, pulling down on the coil there. Let's get some focus so you can see this. So we'll just prime it up a little bit more. And then we'll just fill up the rest of the tank via the fill hole. And that's just start to come out the fill hole. A nice little thing that I've noticed with this tank is that you do have a recessed deck area of about 1.5-ish mil. So if you do, you know, over prime it or you overfill it and it eases out the holes a little bit, it's not going to, you know, leak anywhere because it's got this sort of deck. That's recessed like a you know normal sort of dripper is. 
that just um, you know holds a bit of juice in there as well. So that is that is ready to go. And we just pop our top cap on. And what am I going to put it on? I'm actually going to put it on our Nebula mod uh, in hybrid mode because I think that looks quite nice because it's quite a short little tank. Obviously, when you're using a, a hybrid mode mod or a hybrid mode kit, you need to make sure that that pin protrudes past the external 510 thread. Because if it doesn't, you'll be in a whole world of problems. Right, there we go, that is, zoom out a little bit, we've got a bit close up going on, there we go. That is the SXK Corolla on the Nebula 18650 in hybrid mode, that looks quite nice. So that's just, uh, that's working quite the thing. Lovely. Okay, let's have a little vape. Very nice indeed. Absolutely brilliant flavour from this. Um, you always get good flavours from stuff with the coil at the top. Um, it's yeah it's absolutely stunning flavor uh it's two and a half mil tank as well so you know not the biggest but it is you know sort of almost dripper size isn't it if you put it against uh something this is a torque you see it's it's only slightly taller than a torque marginally so yeah, that is the SXK Corolla. I think I've covered everything. I'd say is the, the four colours. Red, green, purple, and the purple and green mix. Each and every one is completely unique and different. There's there's no two that are the same. Um, let's say, don't... Uh, I'll go back to that top cap scenario. See if I touch that across there. On a fully mechanical mod. We're not causing any shorts. We're not, you know, endangering our own lives. However, if I, if that I was to do that and fire it, then yes, I'd be in a whole world of problems. But you, you know, you'd be foolish to carry it, an unlocked, fully mechanical device in your pocket with some jangly metal keys as well. You're kind of asking for trouble. So, but don't, you know, that's that's that. So just be sensible, as with all vaping products, and then you can enjoy a good vape. And be safe so anyway i hope this video has helped and uh, we'll be doing some more videos of other products soon so thanks very much for watching bye for now